If you're looking for a great YouTube network to join, apply for full screen with the link in the description. To trade your games in for a better value, use leaptrade.com and use Broken Games HD as a referral. Download the Broken Games HD Android app to keep up to date with all videos and social media. So it's the end of the year, and after playing all the games that I've been interested in, I've come to the decision that Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is my game of the year for 2014. And by the way, you're going to see uh, some recycled footage from my review uh, for this game because that's all, you know, the uh, footage I had left from it. Because pretty much after I'm done with a game, I delete all the footage off of my hard drive and everything like that. But if you haven't checked out my review for this game, check it out. The link will be in the description. Now, I honestly don't have much to say in this video because I feel like I've said everything there is to be said and praise uh, be praised about this game in my review, honestly. So I'm just going to kind of summarize. You know, this game was a sleeper, um, definitely a sleeper hit. People, it, it began to, you know, land on people's radar um, after the game came out or close to when it was about to release. A lot of people thought it would be a solid game. Nobody necessarily thought it would be bad or anything like that. But people weren't expecting, I guess, such high quality or enjoyment from the game and it was definitely an ambitious project made by a small but still experienced studio monolith so we still expected great things from them they crafted their own original story in the lord of the ring universe and even though it wasn't anything necessarily spectacular and it could have included more lore references and interesting characters that you may see in the lord of the rings into this story but it was still a good enough story to keep to keep you interested going forth the gameplay was very solid uh, obviously they took many elements from other games and even added their own innovations uh, with the new nemesis system taking the batman uh, arkham series combat style and the open worldness of the assassin's creed series and they did it but still made their own game and they kind of perfected the crafts that were uh, originally done in those games and just made it work and intertwine well in this game and and I get in a, in a day and age where we seem to really have to worry about technical and mechanical issues plaguing mm -hmm. games especially in the open world games this game even though no game is obviously perfect you were hard pressed coming across some crazy game breaking bug glitch or anything like that so it was a very sound game in those regards and most importantly the game was fun yeah a lot of the times we do get caught up caught up in many things games do accomplish but sometimes the formula doesn't equal to a fun time this game was fun and it had just an amazing looking world great visuals beautiful executions that you know never got old literally they never got old, never got tired of doing them. And I do admit, in comparison, this game might not stand up as strong uh, versus other game past Game of the Year nominees or past Game of the Year winners, but that doesn't really take anything from it. The studio is already contemplating a sequel. I think a sequel is definitely given because they made an amazing game. Um, people, you know, critics and uh, consumers alike really loved it. Uh, you already have a fan base behind the game who are like Lord of the Ring Lord of the Ring diehards and even those who are not even necessarily into the Lord of the Rings enjoyed this game so they have plenty of uh, interest and support uh, for this series and I think when they make a sequel it'll be an even greater game with improvements to the story the characters um, I feel it's going to be a challenge for them to improve on uh, make drastic improvements to the gameplay just because I feel like the gameplay was so good but I'm sure they'll figure out a way to make improvements to all aspects of this game so Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is my game of the year for 2014 if you have not played this game yet I implore you the game is cheap now I'm sure probably get it for twenty dollars or something like that on pc you could probably find it cheaper than that this game was well worth the sixty dollars even though i didn't actually pay sixty dollars because i bought it on pc and there was obviously you know plenty of deals so i got it for a 40 but if i had paid sixty dollars i would have absolutely no regrets about this game it is worth every penny so like i said i highly recommend you go out and and, and play this game 
don't miss. I, this is a must play. Must play. You don't want to miss out on this. You won't regret it. If you don't like the game, come to me. I'll give you a refund. I'm lying. But seriously, play the game. So Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor is my game of the year for 2014. That's it, y'all. I'm out of here. Peace.